welcome back to my channel so this is my first official thrift of 2023 i'm very excited i spent quite a few weeks in florida but we're officially back in la so we are back thrifting here today my mom is thrifting with us hi mom so she's gonna be behind the camera while we go and enjoy our thrift so be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos and let's head on in and see what we can find So first thing walking into the store, I see this Christian Dior long trench. It's not in the color beige, but I have seen a predicted trend that gray is going to be the color for neutrals. It was $100, so I think we just need to hold on to it for now. We'll hold on to it for now. This is like the designer brand corner we have Jumanji we have some Gucci and some Chanel love this jacket loving this jacket as well let's try it on I think it's fun and different. Like the fun pocket. I think the, the statement of the lapels, although it's oversized, is like a fun statement. This is gonna be my most expensive thrift trip ever with all these designer items. I did decide to leave those pieces behind for someone else to have a fun find. just found this fleece by Patagonia such a great brand while I love like this color this olive hey, color it was a little warm in places did you like, it? like a little too much love so I did decide to leave it behind all right never mind
I found this fabulous top inspired by Wednesday Adams. Like Wednesday Adams is the moment. Lace was all over the spring 2023 runways and gothic glamour is also a very popular style right now. This piece still has its original tags and only a $9.49. So yes, my dear, you're coming home with me. Along with lace, sheer is another spring 2023 trend. Sheer has been pretty popular for the past few fashion seasons, but now I feel like in 2023, it's less about being revealing and just more about adding dimension to your outfit. So layering is the key here. Bohemian chic is another, another 2023 spring trend. Although I feel like the boho style, boho chic is like always around. It just comes around maybe in a different variety uh, but this would be great for that trend the neckline's a little low for my personal style but a great price I'm seeing a lot of shades of blue being very popular like the light blue baby blue icy blue so I'm kind of into it. I didn't feel like going through the short sleeves or tanks because it's freezing cold outside. So we headed to activewear where I found this Sanderson Sisters crew neck, which I absolutely love. I love Hocus Pocus. So of course I had to immediately add a cart. Oh, I like that. That's a good find. I get it from my mama. So I did also find this to my friend April who was thinking of you with the Beatles and the color but it does have like some stains so I decided not to get it but I was thinking of you. Love this color. Still have our tags on Polar Tech. I think this is I think Polar Tech's pretty expensive.
Is it long enough? I like it. And another national park house. So now the dilemma. Been to both of these. Great experiences. Do we go with the Yellowstone? Or Yosemite. I think I like that one better. I think the shape and everything. That one might be kind of weird. Winner. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Not to mention, look how it goes with our new fleece. Okay, we made the right decision. Okay. Yeah. This whole thing. Okay, we're hungry and we're ready to go check out. We have an extremely full cart. Lots of amazing things. So let's, let's go check out. Hello, uh, it's like a solid week, solid full week later. Um, but I did wanna do this haul for you and show you everything that I found on our thrift trip with mom. Spoiler alert, I, I have to start from the top letting you know I did leave behind the Christian Dior jacket. <laughs> me out. It was a hundred dollars and well yes it's Dior and I'm probably gonna regret it for the rest of my life. What I didn't show you was that the lining was really like roughed up like shredded. The back panel lining was like completely gone really and as I'm putting my arm in like to the sleeves you can see one shot where I'm like struggling to get it through. I don't know what's going on with the lining at that point um, but it's it's detached and up and I don't know. So I knew like it was not in the best condition and had to make that decision. Like, am I buying this because it's Christian Dior and I don't own anything Dior? Or am I buying this because it's like a truly quality piece that is just going to be forever in my wardrobe or whatever, like a statement piece. Yeah, we can just have file that under regrets. Maybe, I don't know, let me know what you do in that kind of situation. I know there's a possibility of like repairing it. I don't know how much that would cost, especially since it's a designer or if you get the original lining or what. Um, but I did decide to leave it behind. Let me know your thoughts, what I could have done differently if this situation presents itself again. I will say this is now the second time, the second time that I have walked away from a Dior trench coat. The first time the fit was just all wrong and I kind of, that one I do actually regret not getting. So I'm just hoping thrift queens, past, present, and future, hear me out, grant me some good luck in finding another Dior trench coat, right? That happens three times in a lifetime. Anyways, I did get the Givenchy leather jacket. You knew I would get that one because I love leather anything. I love all my leather jackets. I thought this one was really cool because of these really statement lapels. There is like a little bit of padding right here on the shoulders. Like on the runways, I was seeing that it is about like big shoulders, big statements on your pieces. So I just thought that these oversized lapels were so fun. The pockets are really cool. And it's just kind of like a mix between the leather blazer that everyone's wearing and kind of like a, a, bomb, a light bomber jacket. It's not as structured as like a blazer. It was marked $60, but I had a 20% off coupon because I actually donated that day. And with Savers, when you donate, you will get a 20% off coupon. Um, I will tell you, like my thrift tip number one is donate when you can. Every time I donate, I always find so many good pieces that day. It's like you have to give in order to receive, be open to receive. Um, so I did donate and 20% off for this jacket. I love it so much. We also have our lace top, our lacy top. Leather and lace are just so timeless. They're timeless materials. They're always in style. Maybe like the shape of it is different or how we wear it, but they're always a yes. And the color black, especially. This is not the right bra, I am aware, uh, but I do not have the energy to go and locate it. So it's just us girls and we're just gonna ignore the elephant in the room. 
I like that you can wear this off the shoulder, on the shoulder, but it's definitely perfect for the gothic glam style that we've been seeing everywhere. Next is this zip up sweater, faux fur vest, magical piece. I found this actually, I think it's like the athletic, like women's athletic, like just check all the sections because you never know what they're gonna throw in what type of section. This is not athletic apparel to me. I love pieces that have like two different textures or materials on them. It just makes it interesting, gives it dimension. Nice little zip in the front. I would style this more as a top, like a sweater top instead of a layering piece. Super cute, super cute. Lately, the oversized scarf is everything. Um, I've been seeing this everywhere the oversized cozy scarf. I love it. I actually don't have any scarves. It's not that surprising. I live in California. It's not that cold, but I do love them for an accessory. I'm just making every outfit so cozy and I just feel like it pulls every outfit together. You're like, oh wow. Wow. She really put some thought into this, didn't she? Such a gorgeous color. We love. Also my Yellowstone hat. Got to love a good ball, ball cap, ball cap, baseball hat. I don't know. This says it all. No, I have not seen the show Yellowstone, but yes, it is on Sam and I's list. And I think we're gonna start, that's like our next show that we're starting. I also picked up the Sanderson Sisters crew neck. We love Hocus Pocus. I love that it's a great fall time sweater. September 30th hits and I'll be living in this crew neck. I found this puffer jacket. Puffer everything is like it for 2023, right? I've seen the puffer purses or bags, which I love. Puffer vests or everything. Puffer jackets, puffer everything. Oversized, fitted. This one's a little more fitted and I like, we like it. I need it here because it's like 60 degrees and I, I can't handle it. It's too cold for me. Finally is our gorgeous green sage. Is this is sage green fleece, zip up fleece. This was new with tags, so cozy. I'm definitely in my UGG era, the minis specifically. I just love pairing like a sweatshirt or a cute fleece with leggings and my Uggs. It's just kind of been like my go-to lazy girl outfit. We're not really trying to put any kind of thought. We want to be comfortable and we want to be warm. That's, that's it. Love this gorgeous color. Really trying to implement more color into my wardrobe. Yes, you should be very proud of me. Um, so greens, I feel very comfortable with greens and like these burnt oranges. Uh, I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try to let some baby blue into my life because I've been seeing that icy light blue everywhere um, and I just think it, it looks really pretty. So we'll try. So yeah, 2023 might be the year of color for me. Trend predictions, I don't know, we'll see. But that's it you guys, that was the whole haul. Let me know your favorite piece down below. Let me know what you found. What's on your thrift list? What are you excited to thrift for? Let's thrift for 2023, so exciting. Thank you guys for watching and don't forget to subscribe and I'll see you in the next one, bye.